Carrots are a cool season crop, usually grown in the fall and the spring, or in mild climates like mine, even in the winter. Carrots are very finicky about the soil they're grown in. We've all seen those funny, misshapen carrots, sometimes obscene carrots on Facebook and Instagram, and that's typically because of some type of object, generally a little pebble, that's somewhere in the soil. And carrots won't push that pebble out of the way, they're just going to twist and fork to go around it. That's why you get those crazy shapes. Now, if you're not after those funny shapes, uh, unless you have really, really great, light, loamy soil in the ground, then you're probably gonna wanna grow those in containers or raised beds. In containers and raised beds, you can control the soil they're growing in. It's generally like a raised bed mix or a potting mix. Now, carrot seeds are really, really tiny, so to plant one at a time would take more patience than I have. Now, if you have that patience, go for it. But for the rest of us, you're gonna wanna just broadcast the seeds over an area. You don't have to worry about spacing at this point. Just take the seeds between your fingers and rub them between your fingertips and the seeds will follow relatively easy across the surface of the soil. Once the carrots are up and have their first true leaves, you'll need to thin them. It's difficult to do emotionally, but if you don't do it, you will have a smaller harvest. Just take some scissors and trim the unwanted carrots off at ground level. Leave about one and a half to two inches of space between the ones you leave. I like using scissors rather than plucking them out because if you think about it, they're growing really close together and all of their roots under the soil are all combined. So if you just cut them off at soil level, you don't disturb the roots of the ones you're leaving. And don't worry because those cuttings that you take off, they taste almost just like carrots and they're great in salads. You'll want to grow your carrots in full sun in, again, well-draining, light soil or potting mix. The thing with carrot seeds is they're so small and they need to be surface sown, meaning not covered up with any potting mix after you put them out. Unfortunately, carrots also need constant moisture to germinate. And therein lies the problem. How do you keep them moist without covering them or sitting there with a spritzer bottle every day, all day? But if you cover them up, they, they need sunlight immediately upon germination. Most seeds have enough energy to push themselves up through the soil to find the light, but carrots really don't. So I'm gonna give you a few solutions to keep the seeds moist until they germinate. The first one is to broadcast your seeds where they will be growing directly in the garden. Water them in well and place a board or a piece of cardboard weighted down so it doesn't blow away right on top of them. That will hold the moisture in until the seeds germinate. But just a few days after sowing, you need to lift that board up once or twice a day to check and see if you see those sprouts forming. Once you see about 50% of that germination happening, remove the board forever, water again, and they will start sending down tap roots immediately to start collecting moisture from deeper in the soil. But they're also going to be ready to take in that sunlight. Another way is to pre-sprout your seeds. To do that, you need a paper plate, some pre-moistened potting mix, preferably seed starting mix. Put the pre-moistened potting mix on the plate, broadcast your seeds over it, and you'll wanna do this fairly thickly because we'll be spreading them out once we're in the next step. Place the plate in a Ziploc bag and zip it closed and put that plate in the freezer for 24 hours. No more, no less. 24 hours is the magic number. Once you take it out of the freezer, put it on top of a warm appliance, on top of the fridge, or even like a, a windowsill over a radiator. It doesn't need light, but a little light is okay. Just don't put them in the sun or they will cook inside the bag. During that waiting period, make sure the soil in your garden is ready. After about seven days, check daily. And once you see little white sprouts, that's all you want. You don't wanna go too far and see green. If you see green, they'll probably still work, but you've waited a little bit long. So in this plate, I waited one day too long and they're starting to show some green on some of them. But when you see these sprouts, preferably in the white stage, run them out to the garden and sprinkle the sprouts, the potting mix and all around the space or in a line, cover them now with about an eighth of an inch of potting mix, just barely covering them. Water them well, but gently, and in a few days, you'll start to see the green sprouts appear over that potting mix. Now, even with this method, you'll probably still have your carrots growing too close together. Always look at the seed packet to find out what the spacing should be after thinning. The one problem with this method is you have to be very vigilant because both of these ways don't allow the seedlings to get full sunlight immediately upon germination. They still require you to watch after them. For a method that doesn't require any memory on your part, sow your seeds the same as before across the top of the ground. And then sprinkle a really thin mix of pine shavings, like pet bedding, 
right over the space. Water them well and keep them moist. These shavings keep the moisture in, but the light color allows light to reach the seedlings as soon as they germinate, and they will continue to grow strong without any more work or vigilance from you. You will still need to thin them though. To save space in the garden, you can grow a crop of leaf lettuces between the rows of carrots while they're small. Leaf lettuce grows fast and you might get two crops in before the carrots start to fill in over that space. For the easiest way to grow lettuce like a pro, click on this video. I'll see you guys next time.